You know, guys, I've always considered rock stars to be the very epitome of rebellion. You know what I'm saying? When I say rock stars, I mean rappers and, you know, even some of the pop stars as well. They always have this uh, rage against the machine type energy. You know what I mean? And I've always respected that. As a matter of fact, at the end of my videos, you always hear me say, rock on. And when I'm saying that, it's usually me telling you, continue to push back, continue to, to uh, critically think, to question question everything and to go against the crowd to be able to stand on your own. That's basically the energy that I'm talking about. You know what I mean? So it's always a little bit disillusioning when I see some of these people that I've always respected as being like anti-establishment just turn out to be sellouts. You know what I mean? Especially when they start getting older and stuff like that. You know, they really weren't about that life to begin with. You know what I'm saying? So now I see that, uh, we have one Mr. Neil Young, okay? And Neil Young, it looks like, is no longer interested in rocking in the free world because Neil Young has decided that he is going to tell Spotify who they can and cannot have on their platform. In this case, of course, who are we talking about? We're talking about Joe Rogan, of course. So you got Neil Young basically saying, it's either him or me. Uh, is this Neil Young or is it Prince? Baby, baby, baby. What's it gonna be? Oh, baby, baby, baby. Is it him or is it me? Now, keep in mind, guys, I can't let her rip because my son is sleeping in the next room. Otherwise, I would have hit those heights. You know what I mean? But anyway, so yes, Neil Young has issued an ultimatum, guys. We thought that it was only the Sith that, de that dealt in absolutes. But here we have Neil Young saying it's Joe Rogan or me. So let's talk about this, guys. This is the gospel according to Mark with a C. He is I and I am he. Just taking some time to tell you exactly what's on my mind. Thank you for joining me once again, my friends. And yes, we have this story in the Rolling Stone, Rolling Stone magazine, all right? And um, I wanted to read it from here because when you start hearing the way that they break it down, you understand what you're dealing with with Rolling Stone. All right, so let's look at this headline real quick. It says here, Neil Young demands that Spotify remove his music over false information about vaccines. And he says they can have Rogan, or Young. Neil Young wrote in a letter to his management and label, but not both. He says you can have Rogan or you can have me, but you can't have both. Okay. So there he is. He's issuing the ultimatum. That's very bad. That's not a good thing in any relationship, guys. Keep that in mind. This is your, your daily gem, your nugget for the day. Never issue ultimatums to the one that you care about. Okay. It's just not right. It's not fair. And it's disrespectful. But anyway, going on, it says here, Neil Young posted a since deleted letter to his management team and record label demanding that they remove his music from Spotify. I am doing this because Spotify is spreading fake information about vaccines, potentially causing death to those who believe the disinformation being spread by them, he wrote. Please act on this immediately today and keep me informed of the time schedule. I want to let Spotify know immediately, today, that I want all my music off their platform, he continued. They can have Rogan or Young, not both. Young is referencing the steady stream of misinformation about vaccines that Joe Rogan has peddled on the Joe Rogan experience. Well done, Rolling Stone. That's, that's nice. That's, that's, that's being objective. You know, that's, that's great journalism. So... Not both. Or right. Young is referencing the steady stream of misinformation about vaccines that Joe Rogan has peddled on the Joe Rogan experience. Last month, 270 doctors, physicians, and science educators signed an open letter asking Spotify to stop spreading Joe Rogan's baseless claims. 275 doctors. Keep in mind, guys, it's already been exposed that among that 270, I think it's like only one doctor or something like that. I mean, I'm exaggerating, but I'm just saying there's a lot of people in there who signed that letter. That's not really qualified doctors. And, you know, you want to talk about medical misinformation. I mean, come on, this, this is misleading right there. You know what I mean? But they, like I said before, it only goes one way. I said that on a video a long time ago. 
medical misinformation only goes one way, and that's the way that the establishment wants it to go. With an estimated 11 million listeners per episode, the Joe Rogan Experience, which is hosted exclusively on Spotify, is the world's largest podcast and has tremendous influence. The letter reads, Spotify has a responsibility to mitigate the spread of misinformation on its platform, though the company presently has no misinformation policy. Of course not. Guys, that's like, to me, that's like uh, listening to a radio station and each and every artist has the right and ability to tell that radio station what artist it doesn't want to share its platform with. That doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? You do what you do. And it's funny because it's like I said before, these rockers, you know, these people, uh, these performers, they've always like pretended to have a rebel spirit. You know, they've always pretended to care about freedom. And the man wrote a song called Keep On Rocking in the Free World. Like I said before, apparently that's over. You know, that that energy, that spirit, he's gotten old. You know what I'm saying? He, he used to have a heart of gold. Now he's got a heart of stone, apparently. But, you know, to me, it's just weird that we're going this way. And it really starts to make me wonder, guys, what's in those shots? What's in those shots? Because you're starting to see these people, like, they're losing their grip. You know, where's the reason? Where's the logic? Where's the critical thinking? It's just not there, guys. Where's the respect for other people's ability to be able to critically think and to make up their minds? You know, it's like you want to control the information. Like, people don't have a, a sense of... Um, you know, like common sense of their own, the ability to make up their own mind. We don't have that faith in each other anymore, where we can like get information and we can process it. After all this time, you considering guys, we've, we've come through a lot of years, decades of pop culture and, you know, people, uh, conspiracy theories and all that stuff. But all of a sudden now we don't have faith in people to be able to make up their own minds based on the information that they have. You know, this is weird, guys. Like I said, I'm really, really starting to wonder what's going on with these shots, man. You know what I mean? I'm talking about mentally. But anyway, so it goes on and it says here uh, his letter was addressed to his manager uh, and his co-chairman and the chief operating officer of Warner Brothers at press time. Uh, Spotify, they didn't uh, respond to a request from Rolling Stone asking if they plan to remove Young's music. So um, they really don't know. This thing hasn't been resolved yet, whether it's going to be Joe Rogan or whether it's going to be Neil Young. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Who would you rather have on Spotify? Would you rather have Joe Rogan or would you rather have the music of something like 80-year-old Neil Young? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if he's 80 years old. I don't mean any disrespect, guys. I'm just saying, you know, I think the way things are going today, I would rather hear a free exchange of ideas you know, I'd rather hear from people who have something different to say than what we see on mainstream media. I just think that's healthy. And I don't think it's healthy to be shutting people down, you know, and I'm really, really disappointed and shocked at all of these people who claimed to be about uh, freedom and, you know, free thought and all that stuff. Uh, it's shocking to me that these people are turning out to not be who we thought they are. A lot of people are really, really showing their true colors these days and it's starting to get creepy. So guys, what do you think about this? What do you think about Neil Young issuing an ultimatum to Spotify through his management, of course, saying that it's either him or it's Joe Rogan? You know, because of course today it's Joe Rogan, but tomorrow it'll be somebody else who's telling the truth. Like I said, this thing has no end that's good anyway. But uh, get in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about this. As always, you can like, you can share, you can subscribe. Uh, catch me on Twitter. Catch me on Rumble, Odyssey, all that good stuff. Thank you for listening, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. This is The Gospel According to Mark with a C. And I mean it when I say rock on.